Welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I'm back with another collective read. Once again, guys, this is all the collection of energies. Take what resonates, definitely leave the rest. Today is Pisces. So I'm going to drop for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, we got air on the board. You could be thinking a lot, or this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. With air, sun, moon, rising sign. We got literally sun and moon on the board. Okay, so somebody could be hiding their happiness. They could be secretly wanting to be happy here. And they could be upset with Mars on the board. Or they may be mad because somebody is happy. Up or down, spirit. Yeah, so Mars. And then we got Jupiter and Venus. Jupiter is a planet of prosperity, expansion. Somebody is expanding their awareness here with the sun. Okay, somebody want love. You could be in love, Pisces, or somebody loves you. And someone is not happy about it here. Because you could be thinking about this a lot, wanting to communicate. Okay, so that's what I got. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. Now, once again, hit the like and subscribe. Take what resonates, guys. Do not try to force this. If you want something more specific, please book a reading. All my information is in the description box, okay? So let's just see what's going on here with Pisces Air. It could have been a secret that was revealed here regarding love. Okay, so somebody could be mad that someone secretly is in love. Maybe someone is hiding the fact that they got feelings for you, Pisces. This could definitely be your divine masculine. Want to communicate. So let's see. Holy Spirit, give us some more messages with this. Patience. So there could be waiting to talk to. Wanting to talk to you, but they could be patiently waiting. Give me some more messages here. Okay. So somebody is patiently waiting to talk to you. Abundance is here. So we got Jupiter twice. This is, could be about some money here. Somebody could want some money. Maybe you're mad right now, Pisces, and you're not talking to them, and they need some type of money. They could be playing a waiting game with you. Okay. Well, we got Source. So, definitely sources out here. So, source want to give you some type of abundance here. And, and, and source, basically God divine, is saying be patient because abundance is coming. Okay? You may need to purify your energy. Maybe you're not purifying your energy. And Spirit is saying in order to get this abundance, to get Jupiter, right? You have to purify your energy. You have to cut people out your life. That keeps getting you upset. Okay. You got to heal your relationship. Now this could be with friends. With friends, family. Or just your relationship as far as heartbreak. Okay. Yeah. Because you're not healing. And I was wanting to put on some Malachite today. So you need to get you some Malachite. Pisces. Because you're not wanting to heal. Maybe you need to heal a relationship. And you're still upset. And Spirit is saying you got to let it go because that's where your abundant lies, okay? Others of you, maybe you got someone upset here. You did something in secret. You had a secret relationship, possibly with an air sign. Or this could be just you need to hear your inner child here. You could be wondering why you're not getting no manifestations, why your abundance is not coming in and you're getting upset about it. And Spirit is saying this because you need to purify your energy. You need to heal. Some of you may just want to communicate. I think if you communicate with whoever that you need to heal this with, you will get abundance. You got to be patient. Okay? Healing takes time. It's not an overnight thing. All right? Flexibility. Yeah, you got to be flexible, okay? You got to have some type of acceptance when it comes to uh, source, definitely. You got to be open to change. You got to be open to be flexible. This could definitely be dealing with a fertility. We got child. 
you may be wanting to have a child or you may not be accepting the fact that it's some new beginnings coming here okay you need to set healthy boundaries okay for your new beginning so you need to cut people out your life that no longer serves you yeah empowerment empower yourself okay heal your heart continue to heal you may be doing this now and you're getting frustrated because you're not seeing any results and that means it requires to be patient here okay you may need to communicate i just keep getting going back to mercury it's something you need to communicate possibly to a divine feminine a collective maybe you and this person need to just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation which would then heal your inner child here and it will create abundance for you you could be holding back this could be something you secretly have in place and you're not opening up here yeah get you some floor right okay Ooh. okay you need to learn learn how to heal be patient with yourself Continue to keep learning. Yeah, emotional healing. That's what I'm saying. You need some type of emotional healing. You need to trust the process here. But maybe you want some type of abundance. And Spirit is saying you got to let go. Mm-hmm. Learn to let go of things that don't serve you. And be patient. Because I see abundance is on the board. So definitely you. So it's one to bless you with Mother Earth. Yeah. You gotta connect with nature. You gotta ground yourself here. It's like spirit do want to bless you, but you gotta be thankful. You gotta stay in the energy of gratitude. Okay, be thankful for the earth, period. Thank you for universe. Thank the universe for your blessings. You could be not being thankful. You're not acting grateful. You want to rush manifestations and blessings and patient and in spirit is saying being patient i want to say patient period so you need to just have, learn patience and you need to heal yourself you're not healing you're not learning how to heal yourself here because you're a healer yeah you are a healer this is what you're supposed to do but you need protection get you some black tourmaline okay crystals stuff like this to protect yourself and you could be having some lessons in your dreams. Spirit is saying pay attention to your dreams here. And practice forgiveness. Have the courage to speak up and ask for forgiveness or forgive others. Because your life purpose includes closing out these cycles, Pisces. For your new beginning. For your new beginning. You may have to work with your spirit animals. Some of y'all, yeah, that's where your happiness is going to lie. In your new beginning, when you let go of these people that don't serve you here. Look at here. That's the truth. You got to get some clarity. You're going to have clarity once you communicate. You may need to communicate with spirit. Go meditate. Talk with God. Talk with yourself. Angels. Have that. Take action and have that spiritual awakening. Okay? That's where your success lies. That's when you get your healthy body. Okay? And have compassion for animals. I don't know what y'all doing with animals, but if you're hurting animals, spirit is saying, yeah, you need to work on your shadow side. Not good. Love yourself. Okay, so that was, all right, that was somebody's message. Let's get deeper. Let's see what else goes on. Okay, let's see what cards. I grab these and let's just keep going. Tell me more about this spirit. What's going on? Clarify Pisces air sign moon. King of Pentacles. So this could be a husband I'm speaking on. This could be somebody who is a celebrity. Maybe you are um you have some type of money here. Somebody could be upset at your success with the King of Wands. Maybe you need to take action to solidify your abundance. Okay. 
close out these cycles spirit is saying so you can have your abundance i feel that's what it's saying to you okay you could be regretful here or something that you did and you want to communicate now this could be you pisces or your cross watcher here what do they want to say okay wheel of fortune they know you the destiny here you're destined for this. You need to communicate. Knight of Swords. Maybe it was some harsh communication that was said prior. And now somebody want to come back. They, they hurt at you here. Could have hurt you real bad. This person could feel very hurt and wounded that they did this to you. Okay, but they need to have courage, Spirit is saying. Take action and apologize. So some of y'all could be under judgment. Yeah, tower. Having them good tower moments for being deceptive. Could have played a lot of mind games here. Over some finances. With a lot of people. Okay, take action, Spirit is saying. 11-11. This could have been for sex. Some of y'all could have been a lot of sex. We got the King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. You could have been very a flighty person. Having sex with a lot of people. Queen of Swords, Spirit is saying you need to speak that truth. You need to, to speak the truth. It's like, come with the truth or I'm going to cut you. So it's like, you need to speak up. This could be a Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords? Yeah, you could cut out that sex. Some of y'all having a lot of sex. Others of you, this just could be, you need to in, out, cut out the people that no longer serve you. With the tower being here. Tower can represent a swift end. Swiftly cut them off, Spirit is saying. And take action for your destiny. Yeah, and be patient. Because all this is coming. God could have brought the tower already. Maybe you already cut this person off. And you're waiting to take action to go to your abundance. Okay, I see abundance here twice. But Spirit is saying be patient because you're not healed yet. You got to heal. Okay, I see what's going on. You got to heal. You're not pure, so you can't come to the divine feminine still with negative entities on you. So, source is saying you got to heal your shadow side. In order to heal your shadow side, you got to meditate. You got to start meditating. You got to start connecting with source. Yeah, tap into your emotions. You are in love because I see Venus here on the board. But you got to put the work in, Spirit is saying. Okay, King, Queen of Cups, you got to put the work in here to, to heal yourself. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be blocked until further notice. Yeah, you, you're going too fast. Some of y'all could be involved in some type of drag race or car situation. Yeah, Spirit is saying, don't be a fool because you're blocking your love by taking risks. Okay, move forward from people that don't serve you and go heal yourself because it's keeping you stuck. You're stuck being burdened in these relationships. Okay, you need to heal. I don't know who this is. Three of Cups. You could be partying a lot. You want to go back to your high priestess. You know what you need to do. But Spirit is saying, God said what he said, you gotta heal. The Hierophant talks about a spiritual teacher. God could be having you under judgment at this time. Because you gotta heal yourself. Two of Swords. Two of Swords is being indecisive. Like you're trying to see what you want to do. But you know where your happiness is. Spirit is saying, decide to do what your happiness for your new beginning. Go towards your happiness. Stop being afraid to offer your cup. You know who you love. Stop keeping yourself. Yeah, look at him. You know what, Emperor? I'm not about to play with you, Divine Masculine. <laughs> you know who you love. Go towards your twin or some of y'all. This is just your other partner here, your soul partner. Okay? Get the healing that you need. You're getting towers. You must have just went through another tower. And Spirit is saying, go heal, Divine Masculine. 1444 as I looked at the clock. Okay, look at here. Go get your, your wish, your destiny. Okay, your legacy. 
Not being scared. This is what you manifested. Okay. Some of y'all could have rushed and did some type of black magic too. That's what I see. And it backfired. Trying to win. But this, I feel like this is what you manifested, Divine Masculine. And now it's here. God is bringing it. And you're scared. Yeah. Now you don't want it. Okay. This is what you've been thinking about. That's why the air is here. Because you've been manifesting this by thinking about it. Oh, I want to go to my Divine Feminine. Oh, I want a new life. Oh, I want to drop these people and get somebody good. So God is bringing it to you, but you got to put the work in, Divine Masculine. It's not going to just come to you. You got to do the work. Nothing is easy. You got to work for it. Exactly. Put the work in. Okay? Communicate that you want to work with your Divine Feminine. That you want to go towards your Divine Feminine. Let her know about your heartbreak. Okay? Yeah, I went over there to them third parties, and all they did was break my heart. Be honest. Okay? Because you know you love her. But you got to speak up. Okay? Let her know that you were confused. You did have a lot of options. You was being immature and they could have caused you sick, sickness and betrayal. And now you realize who you really truly love. And you want to balance it out because you didn't got your karma. Okay? Alright, Divine Masculine. You gotta just be honest. You are in major regret because the cycles are over. Some of y'all, this is the karmic who's in regret because they did that magic. Playing with black magic. And they know they're not pure and they, they gotta heal themselves. Either way, karma, you gotta heal too. You did that magic, now you gotta sit in that. That's the bed you manifested. Others of you, Divine Masculine, you know what you need to do. And the more you sit there, the more towers you're going to have on your floor. Let's get some characteristics to see who this is. No right, Holy Spirit. Give me some characteristics here. What's the characteristics? Who's involved in all this as a collective? First name, middle initial. We got nephew. Some of y'all, it's a family. We got grandma. It was a family trying to block you. W. Jose. They tried to block and hedge their finances. So that's why it's backfired with the tower because now their finances are blocked. Okay, we got our first name, middle initial, last name. Okay, could have been Ohio, could have been significant. We got James. Tennessee, red SUV truck, could have been an air sign that drives a red SUV, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they was doing death magic on you, and of course that's going to definitely backfire, we got Tim, Karmix gave you some type of disease, okay, so that's your tower for some of you. You got a disease, Brianna. You got T, first name, middle initial, last name. Thieves is watching. So somebody trying to steal your money. We have the King of Pentacles. So be careful. These people trying to steal your money. Mass is off. Some of them sending telepathy messages. Ball. Divine masculine and karmic is both codependent. So they hanging on. And that's why towers are here. They send a negative energy your way. William again. They secretly love you, but they keep doing black magic, so that's what the moon is here. They doing love spells. Okay. They trying to get your money. Could be in a remote location. We got a couple of fake readers that's doing it here. Witches, priests, warlocks. Sister could be involved here. They all hate men. They all fake friends. Okay, yeah, Divine Masculine is your family and friends. And Divine Masculine could be blocking your 
finances, Divine Feminine, because they mad. Just take a pick. They are in regret, though, because it's backfiring. Yeah, mob times, Florida. You got your enemy should collect them. They didn't think it was going to backfire. Yeah, you protected. Curly hair. Yeah, they got heavy burdens now. 21, 20, 21 on the clock. Young male and female is the enemy. I, first name, middle, initial, last name. They need to communicate. Mercury retrograde, too. This also means Mercury retrograde. Whatever you put out is going back. So all that magic is going back on them. And all of them is just, they wishing they never did it. They wishing they never did it. So now, here they come. And Spirit is saying, hey, you have to purify your energy. You did it in the past life. Now here you go again, doing it all over again. These are your past lovers that did it. So you got to purify your energy, guys. Y'all y'all keep going in cycles and cycles and cycles. 21-21. When you going to get out of them, them hamster wheels? Take action, spirit is saying. Go to do your spiritual awakening. Okay? So you can clear that past life karma. That's the only way you're going to balance yourself, guys. Is to heal that inner child and heal that heart. So you can get your new beginnings, Divine Masculine. Close out these cycles. You keep you keep just not doing it. I don't know what else to tell you. You got to get courage and stop being so scared. And forgive yourself and forgive others. Okay? Others of you, these karmics want forgiveness for doing moon magic on you. Okay? Because they know you know now. And they want forgiveness with it. They think by you forgiving them, it will stop the karma. And it's not. It's not. God saw what you did, and you're going to get whatever you dished out. When we was trying to tell y'all not to do it, you wasn't listening. So now you're in much you retrograde, and it's coming back. You're going to get another tower every single time. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope that helped uh, once again. What goes around, always come back around again, guys. As I keep saying on all my channels, and they keep on doing it, but hey, they want to keep getting their head bust open, I guess. Okay, Dirge Abu Tarot, peace.